Welcome to eGroupware. In this tutorial we give some useful tips and information concerning the usage of File Manager. First of all we'll talk about handling and usability. File Manager, like all applications, is located in the left-hand menu bar. Click on it and thereby add it to the upper tabs. You'll find your favorites on the left-hand side and below the File Manager menu. With that menu you can easily choose between different directories and get an overview about your shared files. The white box on top always shows which directory you are currently using. The little arrow opens the parent folder. The home button brings you to your home directory. A double click on a folder shows its content and subdirectories. The buttons in top right corner show some tools to work with your files and folders. Here you can for example edit file settings, change access rights or create new directories. In addition there is a button to send files or folders via email. A right click to any directory also always opens context menu and thereby different features. We offer two different views of file manager. To choose between list view and tile view click to the button right of the path. Images or photos will thereby also be displayed as a preview. Using Tile View of File Manager you'll find file names of pictures by hovering over the images. File names of text documents will always be displayed. A click to the preview of a picture opens the full screen mode and shows all images of the relevant directory in an exposed gallery. To upload a file from my computer I just move it to the relevant position via drag and drop. This also works the other way around if you are using Chrome as a browser. I choose the file and hold Alt key and Shift while dragging the file to my desktop. Using a Mac you use Command and Shift. If you need to move a file from one folder to another inside eGroupware, it also works quite easy via drag and drop. eSharing allows starting with version 14.2 to share data with people that don't even use eGroupware. It works by sending an attachment or, even easier, a link to a transitory directory that will particularly be created for that purpose. One way to share files is to click on Mail Files in File Manager context menu. You choose to either send a link to the relevant file or permit read-only or writable access to the relevant directory. A new email will be opened and you can define how long your link will be valid and if the receiver will be only able to read or also edit the file. For enhanced safety you can add an additional password. There is an overview about all shared files in your file managers menu. Here you can also manage your sharings. Another option to share files and folders via eGroupware is to open a new mail and then include a file sharing link by attaching files from your local computer or eGroupware file manager. After that you choose how you want to share the files at the end of your mail. With eSharing you always have the choice to share data located on your own computer just as well as in eGroupware File Manager. Our tip, just send small amounts of data to a few recipients as attachment. If you want to share larger files, whole folders or have many recipients, it's more comfortable to use the links. This way you easily share large amounts of data with external users. Have fun while trying out all File Manager features and also check the other tutorials.